So I'm going to talk briefly on how we use the Phoenix waveform for an acute injury to enhance recovery and healing. Now, ideally, we'd like you to use the Phoenix waveform before you train or before your event for muscle activation, neural stretching, and the mobility work. That's going to greatly reduce the likelihood of a non-contact injury or a pulled hamstring or, or something like that. Uh, but let's say, you know, things happen, you put out there, you pull the hamstring, you pull the quad, what are you going to do? Well, you got a few options, and here's kind of one of the things that we really like using. We, I like using ancient mineral magnesium oil and frankincense oil. And what we'll do with this is rub it together and rub it over, let's say, the, the edema or the bruising that you have. Uh, over the hamstring or the quad. I like wrapping the area and sealing it with this, but oh yeah, first of course you want to connect the electrodes over the injury. So we put this around the, the injury like circle the dragon or proximal and distal to the injury, let's say on the, on the upper hamstring and then the lower hamstring. And then we use the wrap to wrap that in and seal that in. And then what we're gonna use, we're gonna use the Phoenix waveform first. So we're gonna use channel one and channel three now the Phoenix waveforms are the ones that are tweaked to have the DC component. I can't stress enough how much it would be beneficial to do the mobility, the neural stretching, the muscle activation before you go. So we want to prevent these type of things in the first place, but an injury happens, here's what we're going to do. So we're going to use the, um, the P up and the P down to scroll into the programs. We want to go into the program list. You'd see the programs in there, so you go, we're going to go into the Phoenix. And then we're going to use the hunt program is 500 contractions a second, and the 300 is 300 contractions a second. I would use either of those programs, and we'd press OK to go into that program. Then we would just press Start, and then we'd use the intensity here to the corresponding lead to turn it up to get a slight muscle contraction. So the, the patient's laying down there, slight muscle contraction on their hamstring, and what I would do is take their hamstring through a little passive range of motion, nothing too stretchy. Um, just a little passive range of motion. I'd leave that on there for about 10 minutes, then I would turn it off, and then you can see how we have the leads right here like this. I would unplug the leads and then just switch them, and that would be changing the polarity. And then I would run it for about another, another 10 minutes on the, the 500 or 300 program. Then what I would actually do is go down into the ECHO program that you see here. So the ECHO program stands for Endorphin Release, Circulation, and Oxygenation. So anytime you want to increase endorphins, circulation, or oxygenation, you would want to use the ECHO program. And now the ECHO program actually could use all four channels. So I could add two more leads in here if I wanted to and fully surround that, 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 that tissue. And that, that cycles down through, through a program for about 20 minutes. Then what I would actually do, I would do a couple more things. I would take these off. I would switch over to the gray leads using the one and three channel again. And I would exit, go into my program list here that has the Phoenix. And then I'd go into the microcurrent. Okay, so bucket current has been shown to enhance tissue healing and um, increase ATP. So microcurrent is a little bit below sensory, so you're not going to really feel it. But then I'd run through that program again. Now you got a couple options that you could still do. Ideally, you'd want to do the hunt protocol, which I would not go through right now. You can see that, um, and then you could actually go ahead and and do strengthening if you want to start working on those gluteus medius um, to enhance the, uh, the muscle function to move into more a preventative. So that's just one quick way you could use it for um, enhanced recovery and healing. If you have any questions about that, just give me a call. I'd be happy to help you out.